Hey guys, it's TechGuy276. I've completed GTA 5 and it's fucking awesome. I won't spoil anything and that's all I've got to say. Um, I'm here to talk about the Cygena mod. Um, basically, the team of Cygena mod have come out and said, right, we want to build our own company. It's going to cost $7 million and we've already got a hardware partner that's going to bring out Cygena mod to, to, um, to, to, to a phone actually. Like it's it's gonna be pre-installed just like basic Android. It's gonna be installed and it's gonna be just the uh, as you boot it up. So instead of like all my rigmarole and all that crap. Um Actually, Cygenomod is on more phones than Windows Phone and that just shows you, doesn't it? Like there's four that that's just the people that enable reporting. Because there's like two buttons on the uh Cygenomod. Uh, enable reporting and disable reporting and if you press enable reporting uh, though that phone will be sent back to that team and then they fa they that just adds another one to the to the list of the number of devices that actually are running that version or running uh, that group of um, ROMs I tried to root, I tried to root my Galaxy Nexus before, and for some reason the Team Win Recovery Project isn't working properly. So, and that I've just got a text. Um, right, the main, right, there's, there's more people. There's about, okay, there's about 100 million people that are actually running on Cygenomod, which is a pretty, it's a lot of people actually. To consider considering that Windows Phone. Has only got well. I think it's got uh, 80 million people, and BlackBerry have only got 25 million or something like that. And BlackBerry is running on like one percent. Um, right. The main the main problem that Cygena Modders has, and all the other ROMs out there, is you've got to unlock your bootloader, which deletes everything off the phone. Then you've got to root it, and then you've got to do the necessary precautions of actually. And if you mess up on any of those processes, you could kind of brick your device. Or you could end up um, like getting in a boot loop, and then therefore you have to reset everything. You lose all your data, and at the, at the end of it, it's not it's not really that worth it, really. But well, it is worth it. But if you don't know what you're doing, ask somebody else to do it. And the team of Cyanogenomod have come out, and they said, "Oh, they're gonna do." Uh, for every recent phone like the HTC One and the and the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy S3 and the uh, Nexus 4 and the all these different phones like the brand new ones, the Sony Xperia Z, they're gonna bring out an installer where you just plug it in your phone and you install, um, you you install like a third party, uh, like package installer on your web browser and then on your web browser you just click your device and you click install and then therefore it's rooted. It's unlocked the bootloader, no deleting the data, it's rooted, and it's able to flash a ROM right onto the computer, so no of going into clockwork mod or team win recovery project and looking for all those all through the settings and going, I don't know what to do here. It's it's a it's a great leap forward in the routing community. Seven million it's gonna cost and I can't, I can't wait for it. Oh obviously for so, for some reason my phone is not able to flash. I don't know if I've updated the Nexus uh, toolkit to 4.3, well to whatever version that's compatible with 4.3. I've I've rooted it. I'm able to get like rooted, uh, rooted apps from the Play Store. I'm able to install apps from the toolkit itself, but I'm not able to flash a ROM and it keeps coming up that it's failed. I'm able to like do all the uh, wipe all the Dalvik caches. Uh, format the system which I haven't done that yet but I know I can do it and it's just not letting me able to uh, flash another ROM like it's I want to install uh, CM 10.2 which is adds a whole lot of features like it's like the feature from Facebook Messenger uh, where you can have like uh, uh, what they call bubbles and they appear on the right hand side left hand side and you can just swipe them off well this does the same but with messages and you're able to like have multiple conversation going as you're playing a game so you don't have to switch back to your messaging app it's just basically like quick reply really um, and then and then it adds like pie controls where you can just swipe well it gets rid of on the, on the Nexus I'm sick of these well you won't be able to see them 
because you you're probably on YouTube. But if you're watching it on mobile and you got a Nexus device here, these the navigational buttons, the home and the back and the multitasking button, that's a pain in the ass because that lose a lot of screen real estate. If they made it fifty pixels smaller, I would be happy. But it's wasting. I don't even know. It's wasting that much, and it's just a pain. And um, I've been on the Play Store. I've I have got full screen applications running, but the battery, it see it seems just to run it in the background at full CPU power if I've got the full screen app running, and it's just it's just a bit of a pain. So I've uninstalled it and then I updated to 4.3 and then I rooted it again, and I just can't update the ROM. I just can't flash the ROM. So I'll come up I'll come up with a I'll come up with another video to do it, and um, next Friday. I will be doing a funny Friday, which is what happens every Friday, so I don't know why I've just said that. Anyway, thanks for listening, and I'm going to watch the new How I Met Your Mother. Bye!